I grew up in a Methodist church. That's where we went, but I, I, didn't, I didn't get anything out of it. It just didn't mean anything to me here. I didn't walk out feeling um, that I was connected or closer to God. In my 20s, I started to really think about spirituality and what that meant. But as a young adult, I was a partier. I enjoyed a good time. I liked to go clubbing. It was the 80s, you know. And then in 1995, um, I had an experience that happened over, over the course of two years. This experience would repeat. And so from that point on, I needed to know the truth. I needed to know what happened, why, and um, what the truth was. Because I, I knew that it was, it was a spiritual reality. I couldn't see it. It's like the wind. You can't see it, but you can see the effects of it. In the 90s, I spent a lot of time at Borders with a coffee on the floor of the New Age section. The, the schools of thought that, that interested me were the ones where I could practice. Although I didn't ever really get into practicing any type of occult art, I definitely studied it. I started uh, messing around with all kinds of stuff. Thinking I was getting answers and communications and whatnot, going to psychics and all of that. I had come across a new Ouija board and I messed around with it. And then pretty dark things started happening. I was having some serious attacks at night. I said, Jesus Christ, please help me. And it stopped. From that point on, I said, wait a minute, there's something, there's something there. What just happened? From that point on, I, I was on a quest. I needed to know the truth. I needed to know the truth. I wanted to know more about Jesus. I wanted to know what he said because he helped me that night. And so I was on a kind of a mission to find the truth. And I've heard this so many times. I am the way, I'm the truth and the life. And all of a sudden, I read that. I went, that's it. The way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through me. That's the truth. That's the truth I've been running from for 20 years. The next thing that I needed to do was I needed to find a church. I needed to find someone or a community, not someone, but a community of believers where I could go and, and I could hear more. I knew what I did not want to walk into, so I wanted to find a gospel preaching church. And I, I Googled it again and I said, gospel preaching church and New Day came up. The sermon series was God of the Box Office and it was Jason Bourne and the identity. Let's see, what's your identity? And it was just like, bam. And that was the day that I decided that I was going to give my life to him and let him take control. Life has never been the same. It's an amazing change here. Was baptized at New Day. I prayed for, for guidance and it was like, yep, this is it, this is the time. It was an amazing, it was an amazing feeling to come in, leave the old self symbolically, rise up symbolically. And now I'm at guest services, I'm, I'm gonna be leading a small group. I'm just, that next step, and then the next step, and then the next step. And it, it's just, it's an, it's an amazing path that he lays out for you. If, you. if you choose to yield to the spirit, you know? It's amazing when you finally let go of control. What can happen? Your whole life can change. And it does, and it did, it's still changing. I can't, un I can't unsee the truth. I don't want to unsee the truth, but I can't unsee it. It is what it is. It's so wonderful. God has taken me from a dark path of destruction. I've gotten off that path and onto a right path. That's, what's, that's what he's done for me.